All right, uh, we are going to wrap up today with a final set of remarks. Our closing remarks are uh, from Kwong Chan, who is uh, here at the business school at, uh, at uh, Northeastern. You've been hearing all day about the data initiative here, and he's the executive director of the data initiative. Please welcome Kwong. So now we have uh, five minutes between me and the drinks and food outside. So I'm not going to summarize as much as I'm going to show you what you can do to engage with us here. We started off uh, four years ago where chief data officers didn't exist, as we heard in the panel. They merged with CMOs, CIOs, different kinds of CDOs. Uh, and then we launched in this vein with uh, Suffolk, who had the ch first chief data officer in the construction industry. So they built one Dalton, Four Seasons, you know, and they've been a very generous supporter of their digital analytics technology automation initiative. So what do we do? Uh, we try to help companies like you, and we try to match you with the best solutions. So we're a university. We're here to help. Uh, the best part about it is, you've seen all of us, you saw Karina this morning, you saw Yakov in his keynote, and now you're seeing me, uh, for better or for worse. We like to think about your problems, and we do it all the time. We can't turn off. So if you've got a problem to solve, and you want us to take a shot at it in many spheres, we can do it, and we really love to do it. I'll show you a couple of different ways you can engage with us, uh, I guess, to, to push the boundaries including LLMs, including different kinds of algorithms here. We can solve your problems. Uh, we can find talent. So our most requested, I think, service, if you like, is finding the best students, graduate, undergraduate, and place them with you. Uh, certain profile, demographic, engineering. Uh, we can do all of that. And we can also showcase you. You heard about our book, uh, Break the Wall. What you guys would like most about this is the raw interview transcripts. We have CDOs, uh, we have the chief measurement strategist from Google in the book, again, word for word transcripted interviews, as well as our interpretation from Yaakov, Kuhn, myself, and Zainab on how companies can implement digital transformation. Not a lot of LLMs in this book, but there is a lot of algorithmic advice on, on how to get teams to do what you want them to do in the analytics space, Amazon. So talent or problems, uh, put these together. We have this uh, function where I say to a company, you've got five things to do, you can't get to number five. Let us have a shot at it. We handpick computer science, engineering, business, design, political, uh, economic philosophy students to solve a problem. Uh, can you update your recommendation algorithm? Can you work out if people are overusing your product? We can sandbox it, we can analyze it. We have a high-speed supercomputer we have access to. You want to train a custom LLM? We can take a shot at it. We're even doing that right now. So we pick the students from cross disciplines and work with startups and work with large companies. Um, a lot of your companies here, we've worked with um, Schneider Electric, with DraftKings, with McAfee, and all kinds of um, customer-centric and algorithmic solutions. We also do consulting. So we have, of course, faculty, private consulting, our own companies. We like having our own consulting companies. We also do student consulting and one great project we did was with the only Trappist brewery, I think, in North America. Fantastic beer, uh, Spencer Brewery. If you haven't had it, you should. Um, they gave us a private tour to have three monks take you around a brewery is great. I'll never forget that. Uh, we've had a bunch of VCs on the West Coast say, we can't invest in AI. It's all kerfuffle, shall we say. Can you see if these technologies in Gen AI can be used to launch a startup? So this semester, for the first time, we charged a bunch of um, MBA students, engineering students, and analytics students, and mathematics students, actually, to see if they could apply LLMs to certain problem classes. Turns out, what we heard in the panel, a lot of it can't, right? We're, we're too far ahead of the curve in, in some ways, and why not have these teams find that out first before your company wastes resources and time to go down a dead end? Dead ends are valuable if you don't spend the money on it. Uh, we have great hackathons. Uh, the chief data scientist of the city of Boston got hit by a car on his bicycle, asked us to do a hackathon to find a better way to bike to work. Great result. MathWorks wants to be in the AI ethics space. They're very proactive. So we did an AI hackathon with them. We have one coming up in February on papers to products, taking raw research from faculty and students and commercializing it using algorithms and a lot of Gen AI. Uh, that's going to be next academic semester. And if you have suitable judges, we're willing to feature you. Good for networking, uh, good for getting a high profile in the AI and research space. 
Uh, talent identification, we have a series of, of workshops and uh, student-centric knowledge sharing. This is one of them, Women in Analytics, where students present their best work. It could be visualization, could be algorithms, could be using MATLAB for engineering. Uh, we have several series. This is one of the most popular ones, uh, Women in Analytics, and they all get placed very well, I assure you, after showing their work to the university at large. And finally, thought leadership. So we have forums every year, um, a bit like this, and usually you know, in this similar venue here. We've had speakers from all over the place, from Victoria's Secret, Wayfair, Celtics. Uh, bottom right, we had a special session on games, so Bruins, Red Sox, um, got the last ice hockey team, Bruins, uh, Celtics, and also um, Microsoft, Minecraft. So a real gaming session on how they can use data to advance customer satisfaction and, of course, um, ROI. And podcasts, um, if you like to speak, we like to hear, and we can feature you on our website. We have, uh, I think, yep, we've had the Red Sox a couple of times come in and talk about how they managed to be better than other companies, analytics, Google, uh, KPMG, et cetera. So without further ado, uh, reach out to me in the networking session. Um, let's get some drinks, and thanks for your time. <laughs>